we go. Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. In today's video, y'all come fix some supper with me. Tonight we're having some deer meat and gravy and some cat head biscuits and some canned potatoes. So I've had a lot of requests of how I use my canned meat and this is one way I do it. If y'all are new to the channel, me and my husband and two kids live on about 18 acres in the foothills of North Carolina. We grow about 80 to 90 percent of our own food. So I just wanted to bring y'all along and show y'all what we're having for supper tonight. First thing we're going to make is the biscuits. Now, I call these cat head biscuits for a reason. It's what we consider cat head biscuits around here, uh, which are big square biscuits. So I make biscuits all kinds of ways. This is just one of the ways we like to enjoy them. So for my cat head biscuits, I put my oven on 475. I'm just gonna make a few, so I'm gonna use this little pan here. It works perfect for when I'm just making enough for us to have for one night. So I'm gonna put my little pan in there and let it be heating up. And y'all just excuse it if the fire alarm goes off because it likes to go off when my oven's this hot, just be forewarned. So we're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt, something like that, and a heaping tablespoon of baking powder. So I want to get all that, just kind of all my dry ingredients mixed together. Now for my cat head biscuits, I like to use butter versus lard. Uh, just like, it gives it a little different texture, in my opinion anyway. So we're gonna need five tablespoons, roughly, of butter. I'm not getting any fresh butter right now. We sure are missing it. Uh, this store-bought stuff don't hold a candle to it, but hopefully soon. I'll be getting some from Miss Bell, but when you're calf sharing, you don't get a ton of cream, nor a ton of milk at this point, so. All right, let's get that worked in. You're going to want this to look gritty. You don't want any pieces any bigger than uh, a pea, so. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a little bit. Cold butter's a little harder to do it with. I heard some people say use a cheese grater. I've tried that before. I didn't, I don't know. The texture of my biscuits was, was different. It wasn't bad, but I just seem to do it this way. All right, we're gonna make us a little mountain here in the middle. We're going to make us a pond for our milk. There's our pond. Now this is sweet milk, not buttermilk. This recipe works just fine. So then you're just going to kind of work your flour in a little bit into your milk and we'll get us a dough here in just a second. If it's too sticky, just sprinkle you a little more flour on there. Ain't no big deal. Got my hands cleaned off. We're going to knead it just a little bit. Not much, just a little. Till we get us a nice ball, just like that. sit there. All right, we're going to get our little preheated pan out. All right. Now, 
now. Let's take our ball of dough. I'm gonna put it on there and we're gonna flatten it out. Make it pretty even all the way across our pan here. I know about half of y'all thinking I'm crazy right about now, but I promise you, these, these things are so good. I enjoy making them this way. I'll just wait till you see the finished product. So we're gonna let them cook around 10, 12 minutes till they're as brown as I want them. All right, next up, I need to get this deer meat heated up. When you can deer meat, I'll be sure to link that video. It makes its own broth in there. I like to pour all that in there. smell my stuff make sure it smells all right I heard the seal break so we're good I love canned deer meat y'all if you've seen that video you know that this is the best way to do a deer in my opinion I'm just gonna let that warm up gotta get my potatoes in here so we're just gonna crack them open too now, one thing I will tell you with canned potatoes, I'm not going to pour this straight in there with that juice because it's real starchy. So, I'm going to get these rinsed off. I just pour out the juice, rinse them with clean water a couple times, and then put them in there. So that's clean water I got in there now. I'm gonna put them in there. I lost them. Get them put in there. And we're just going to put a couple tablespoons of butter in there. I'm just going to use that what I got left. We're going to let them warm up too. I got some hog jaw to fix. So I'm going to get my pan hot. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I've got to put um, some thickener in my deer meat here. It's starting to warm up. So I'm going to take some milk and some flour and mix it up um, and kind of let that flour dissolve some. And then I'm going to put that in this mixture. And then we're going to throw the salt and pepper to it. And it is divine. Just my personal experience, I have found that it works better doing this way if you add milk to the flour not flour to the milk that may be common knowledge but i had to figure it out the hard way <laughs> and i do this till it gets a rather runny texture i don't even know if y'all can see that but i just keep adding milk a little at a time you just have to watch your hog go it's at least it's fresh anyway. I don't know how the store-bought stuff does, but it puts off a lot of grease. A lot of grease. Go ahead and add my flour mixture in to my deer meat. We're gonna just mix that in and just let it keep on a cooking. It'll thicken up in a little bit. We're gonna do a good little bit of salt in there. Some black pepper. I really like black pepper, so y'all ain't got to put that much. Biscuits are good and done. I'm gonna get some butter to go on top. We're just gonna 
Rub that all over the top. You can never have too much. Take my deer meat here. So my deer meat's as thick as I want it. Y'all see there? So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just cut that off. And that's ready. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper to my potatoes. Y'all get done, and we'll cut into these biscuits. If I don't watch it, I'm gonna get fired from making hog jaw too. <laughs> you want a good way to season your cast iron? Cooking that hog jaw right there, that's what I always do if I have any new ones. It's so greasy, it does good. All right, let's cut into these biscuits. How I do them is we're gonna make six biscuits here. These make good for this deer meat and gravy here that we'll put on top of them. So let me see if I can pop one out. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Y'all looky there. That is what we call a cat head biscuit. They're good and done. They're nice and fluffy. Um, they're not extremely brown on the bottom. This pan I've noticed they don't get real brown, but I don't want them real brown. That's just our preference. So y'all, like I preach all the time, make your own convenience foods. I literally just made this whole meal right here in 24 minutes and that was with making a video. So, you know, even if you can't get out there and you can't grow a garden or you live in an apartment, you're just not able to do those things for whatever reason, cooking at home, that's your step towards maybe not so much becoming self-sufficient, but you're taking care of yourself. You're not dependent on McDonald's to cook your cheeseburger. Literally, I made this faster than I could have drove to the closest McDonald's, which ain't very close, to be honest with you, but the closest restaurant, picked up my food and drove back home. I made all this, and it's gonna be way better. Y'all know it is. So, we'll get our plate fixed. Get me a tater or two out. I've got some leftover turnip greens. I think I'm gonna warm up to go with mine that I cooked yesterday. So now I'm gonna get my biscuit. This is how I highly recommend that if you try this, you eat this. <laughs> get your biscuit. Boy, that looks good. You're gonna get you a scoop of your meat and gravy. And you're gonna put it right on top of that right there. I'm gonna get me a few pieces of hog dog. I'll eat the burnt, I'll eat the burnt pieces. But anyways. Well, y'all, that's a fine looking meal in about 25 minutes. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video today. Please let us know down in the comments. Um, or if you try anything that I showed you tonight, let us know in the comments. And as always, we really appreciate y'all watching. Um, looking forward to the next video. Y'all just realized that January and February are literally our only slower times. And there's not a lot going on, but we just kind of take advantage of that. So I do a lot more cooking and uh, we do a lot more, I don't know if you call it resting, catching up on stuff. So Catching up on projects. Yeah, catching up on projects. <laughs> so, you know, y'all just be sure to stick around, especially when garden season gets ramped up. Um, but anyways, till we see you on the next one, we'll see you later. Y'all have a good one. Forgot what I was going to say.